So, hey, I um, decided to make a quick little video um, based on the fact that I'm an XP Pen display user, right? So I've got an XP Pen 22R Pro pen display um, that you're looking at here. You can't see the fact, well, I'm using a stylus, um, but I'm on a Windows 10 machine. I've got a, another display that works great on my MacBook Pro. Uh, and actually the one here that I'm using currently in this video on Windows works great also, but every once in a while, and when I say once in a while, I mean maybe a few times a day, the cursor, the stylus, will suddenly become unresponsive. Uh, I'll touch the, um, I'll place the stylus uh, against the pen display and it just doesn't register. In fact, if anything, uh, it starts to work on my other monitor, my main monitor. Um, so th in other words, I'm controlling the cursor on, my, on the wrong display. Uh, so what's happening? It feels like, and from my research, <clears throat> that the USB connection from the XP pen display uh, to the actual Windows desktop um, via USB times out. Uh, I have found through trial and error that if I unplug that USB, by the way, it's USB-C at the point of uh, here on the 22R pen display, and it's regular USB on the, um, uh, the tower on my Windows machine. If I unplug one end of that cable, on either end, I should say, and plug it back in, I'm back to working again. So it's almost as if the USB on the Windows side just loses connectivity. It just goes to sleep in some way. Um, and so fine, I've got a workaround where when it happens, I just need to disconnect and reconnect it again via the USB cable. But part of me thinks that, you know, hey, there's gotta be something on the Windows end of things. I don't think it's a XP pen driver issue. Uh, it feels like a Windows system issue. So what I think I have found is the actual solution. And having uh, Googled this and researched it a little bit online and on Reddit, I found that a lot of other people have the same issue. So I figured out, oh, let's document it and figure out what's going on. So I go to um, my settings for Windows here, right? And if I go to system and then go to power and sleep, and I'm going to leave all this as is. I'm not going to touch screen and uh, turning off the screen or, or you know, what happens, how long uh, before it goes into sleep mode. I'm going to go to related settings and click on additional power settings. And it's going to open up this window. Now, you might have balanced selected. Fine. You might have, like I have, high performance selected. That's fine. Either way. For whichever um, performance setting you have selected, click the change plan settings next to it. So high performance, change plan settings. Again, disregard the redundancy of turning off the display setting and putting the computer to sleep setting. We don't need that. Go back down to here, change advanced power settings. And that's going to open up this window. And what you want to do is scroll down and open up or expand the USB settings. And I'm going to expand it again. Now, mine is disabled. That's because I've already changed it. If yours says enabled, which it probably does, because I think that's the default, click on it. It'll turn into a drop down, and you want to change from enabled to disabled. Okay. And then click apply and then hit OK. And I think what that does is it kind of forces. The, your USB connections to always remain active all the time. Now that might cause other issues in the form of if you're on a, uh, let's say a Surface Pro or some laptop running Windows, it's gonna use more power and drain battery faster. How much faster? I don't know. It might be nominal, who knows? Might not make a difference, but you have to sort of weigh that against whether or not you want your tablet to time out uh, and your stylus to stop working and constantly unplug and plug back in a USB setting. Now, I've been working for a couple of hours like this and I've had 
uh, no issues in terms of the stylus not working. Uh, so far, so good. And I think this is uh, the fix. So that's it. And for now, I'm going to continue animating. My cursor is working. I'm going to go to File, New. And let's create a new document. And just to show you that everything is everything's working just fine. So there you go. Hope this helps.